This is lecture six, second example. This is a RTL type example, not a programming example. And so let's look at. So these problems are, once again, I, I distinctly kind of do themselves. Now the issue here is, is I have set RTL here. What I want to do is draw a circuit that uh, would support that, implement that. Um, I essentially, the thought here is I'm designing a circuit where I need to do these operations and I need to actually show the circuit now. And so let's do that. So the issue is you look at this thing and I see, I see uh, R2, R3, and R4. I see, I see four register, uh, three registers there. And so I'm going to draw them. And then after I draw them, Everything's synchronous. Notice none of this has a clock signal in it. After I draw them, I am going to make the required connections. So the other thing I see in this thing is I see R2 plus R3. And I should have put a little more space in there. R2 and R3 are being added. So heck, I'll just throw a rip carry adder in there. And the result of R2 and R3 needs to be fed into R4. So we can make that connection like that. Looks good. And a condition here, it looks like R4 has a load in it. R at soups, LD4. Okay, it looks like I, I gave the circuit the ability to implement that, that first instruction, uh, first RTL line. Now the next thing I need to do, I'm just gonna work down on this thing is is the notion that R2 gets R2 plus R1. And so the thing you would think that, hey, I need another adder in there. Uh, it's not the case, actually. Uh, it looks like a counter to me. And so I can very easily model that as a counter. And so this is going to have an up input. And I will connect the increment signal to that. That gives me the ability to increment the thing. And lastly, I, I'm going to say uh, this R3 circuit certainly has a clear signal and I am going to assume that that's synchronous and just add it in there. So very quickly from this these three lines of RTL I generated this you know this, you know it doesn't really do much but it looks like an impressive looking circuit. Now this is super important because that's how the risk 5 was designed. It, people didn't design hardware and then say, hey, what can the hardware do? They they actually want they listed what the hardware should do, and they let people implement that hardware any way they wanted. So RTL, particularly in the designs we're working with, RTL comes first. RTLs used to describe the transfer of data between registers, which is generally what a computer is doing. So essentially, the RTL is used to define the instructions and you can once again you can see that in all the literature and all the cheat sheets and all the documentation associated with with any microcontroller any computer and so that's it so once again we didn't really specify the data widths on these but it's understood that these these are control signals and the you know the data width is one uh, but the, everything else is a is a data signal, and those data widths would typically have some be something other than one. That's all I had for this.